know about this doctor, I don't mean to sound rude, but he seems a little bit cuckoo. I mean, I don't think I need this this kidney that bad. I don't know, y'all. I'm kind of feeling bad for the guy next to me. I think he might die, but oh well. <laughs> hey, Jenna. Hey, Michael. Uh, so I was thinking, are you free this Friday? machine that preserves kidneys up to 50 hours after they're removed from the body of a donor. Yeah, I've been working with Dr. Michael Scott for years now. I don't know how he made it through med school. He's kind of out of there. <laughs> guy by now from my employees. Let me just give you the quick rundown on what he did. He was the first African American to enroll in the University of Arkansas's medical school. He was also responsible for discovering that a certain drug given in large doses could help reverse acute rejection of transplanted kidney. And he's out. Just making sure. I think the kidney goes right here. You think? Uh, I don't know. What do you think? Right here. Okay, let's go with that. Uh, kidney. Ah, it's wet. So, how did the surgery go? Well, I didn't get my kidney. <laughs> 